video is for those of you that have hip tightness, hip pain. Um, this is not a video or stretches for people that have had hip replacement or have uh, joint issues in the hips. So um, always talk to your doctor before you try any of these. But um, let's go ahead and get started. This one, you're gonna take your right leg over the left. Even if you have to be up here like this, that's fine. Once you take the right over the left, you're gonna sit up tall and then you just reach out. You wanna to try to keep both of your hip bones down onto the ground. You should feel that stretch. I personally deal with um, hip issues from my rheumatoid arthritis and I stay tight in my hips, so I love this one. I feel it every single time. You're gonna hold it for about 30 to 60 seconds. Then you're gonna switch legs. You'll do the same thing, sit up tall, deep, deep breath in, blow it out, reach out. And come up. Okay, I want you to take the left leg, keep it bent. The right leg is gonna go straight back. You're going to be in a straight line. You're not going to be up on top of the knee. You want to be on that sitting on that hip bone and you're going to turn and you're going to lay over that leg. Just lay over. Your back leg needs to stay straight in alignment with that hip bone. You're going to hold for 30 to 60 seconds. This is called pigeon. If you cannot feel anything, you can always come up here and push the ground or if you can't go down all the way, you can come here and hold. Okay, we'll switch sides, 30 to 60 seconds. Remember, that's all it takes. So right one is here, then the left, go straight back, lay over that leg, make sure you're sitting on that hip bone. And hold, and come up, okay. Now you're gonna go down to the mat or to the floor. And if you're doing these in your bed, that's great too. But um, you're gonna roll down and go down onto your back. I want you to take one leg, lay it down on the floor. The other one, you're gonna come up, grab that knee, bring it into you. Okay, now I want you to take the opposite hand, grab that ankle, just give it a good turn. Now, if you have knee issues, I know this is hard, and if that's the case, you can keep it a little bit straighter and bring it in towards you. Okay, release and switch sides. Bring that leg in, bring it in towards the body. You may feel this in other places, but there are other muscles that need to be uh, stretched out to help keep the hips from hurting. Okay, grab the ankle, bring it back in. Back in and release. Okay, go ahead and come up. We're gonna flip over. And what I want you to do is I want to bring you to bring your right leg around and in front. When we do this, I want your knee to be stacked with the, the ankle bone. Don't want to go your knee to go past your toes. So you're gonna lean into what I call it looks like a runner stretch. You should feel that in the front. And then you lean back and you dig that heel into the ground, toes go up to the ceiling. And you're pulling in opposite directions. Okay, come forward, bring that leg around. And you are going to lean into that. Go ahead and go back. Heel stays down on the ground, toes are up. And come forward. Bring that leg back around. Very, very good. I'm so very proud of you. And we have one last thing to strengthen those hips. I'm going to give you an exercise. You, there's a series you can do, and I'm only going to show you one side, but come down onto the forearms. I want you to take that back leg straight out. Both hips are facing down. Bring it to the side, up and over, 
up and over. It's not real high, just small. Okay, that's one move. Another one you can do is you are going to come up and onto the hands. You'll be at tabletop. You're going to take that left leg, keep it bent, bring it out and in, out and in, out and in. This will help with the rotation of that hip, that hip flexor right in there. And then one last thing that you'll do is knees are going to go out, feet are out. This one's called frog. I want you to try to get those hips down to the ground. And mine don't go all the way down because I'm really tight there. So um, this will help to stretch that out. It's a very good stretch for the inner thighs. It will help with the hip flexors. It helps with the um, low back. And you just keep trying and you'll get better and better and better at it. So there we go. Have a great day. If you have any questions about any of these videos, please just message me and we'll talk about it. And I hope that this was helpful. And if you um, need help with anything else, let me know. Have a great day.